Hey guys, this is my AP Lit project, and today I'm actually doing something a bit different. I'm going to be doing my Lit project on a game called Kingdom Hearts, and I know that it's out of the norm that I'm doing a video game instead of a book or a movie adaptation of a book. But unlike most other video games out there, Kingdom Hearts has a very complex story, and the producers do a very good job on adding a lot of meaning into the plot and all of the events that goes on within the game series. But for today's video, I'm going to be analyzing the symbolism that goes on within this game series. So hold on to your seatbelts, kids. We're going to go on a journey. The first symbol that I actually found within my research was none other than the main protagonist himself, Sora. In the very first game in the series, Sora resides in a world called the Destiny Island. One night, creatures called the Heartless raid his home and manage to destroy the world. He is then flung into a new world, where he learns the existence of other worlds other than his own. From then on, Sora and his new companions, Donald Duck and Goofy, believe it or not, span across many worlds. From this sort of introduction, Sora symbolizes the archetype of an adventurer going on a journey. The action of coming out of his natural environment is similar to how Odysseus sets out to sea or how Bilbo goes on a journey with Gandalf and the elves. Even Sora's theme, the music that is playing right now, has a sense of adventure in it. It has a very gallant and jovial tone that reflects Sora's bright and adventurous nature. Sora and his actions can also symbolize Jesus and the actions he had done before crucifixion. Like Jesus, Sora constantly tries to help everyone in need of aid and will ease their suffering. He will even sacrifice his own life to help his loved ones. Sora even has a sort of resurrection after he sacrificed his heart to save his friend Kairi, which parallels the resurrection of Jesus. To further this Sora to Jesus claim, in Kingdom Hearts 2, Sora obtains a new power called Final Form. In this form, he is able to use light-based power to attack enemies. The similarities between this form and Jesus are uncanny. Sora seems to emit light from his body and levitates off the ground, similar to, similar to how people would depict Jesus in many paintings. Both men are sanctified of any darkness and sin. All in all, Sora makes a pretty convincing Jesus. Moving on to the third symbolism. The weapon that Sora wields is called a Keyblade. Its more specific name is King of Key. The Keyblade is a weapon that is used to repel the darkness, and a special mechanic of the Keyblade is to lock a world so-called Keyhole so that the heart of the world cannot be tainted by darkness. Along with the King of Key's dark counterpart, King of Key D, which is wielded by Mickey Mouse, one can open the gate to the supreme world which is used to house all of the other worlds across the universe. This one, this one world's name is the namesake of the game series, Kingdom Hearts. So by stemming back to our bi biblical illusions chart, a second Christian symbolism can be made in that the Keyblade in general symbolizes the keys to the kingdom, the biblical keys used to open the gates to heaven. Sora, as the established Jesus figure of the game series, wields a key that is able to open up the origin of all worlds. This ties in with how with how Jesus and his most loyal followers are able to open up the doors to heaven. Throughout the entire game series, there is one concept that is like a huge pillar that holds together the entire story. This is the confliction between light and darkness. The series make it clear that the light is mainly corresponded with the protagonist, while darkness is mainly favored by the villains of the series. Light protects people from the darkness, while darkness is responsible for the creation of malicious intent and the heartless, creatures of the darkness with no hearts that will attempt to take people's hearts. However, it has been stated numerous times that as long as there is light, there is darkness. This aspect of the light to darkness conflict symbolizes the Taoist belief of light and darkness. As Lao Zhe, founder of Taoism has stated, the Tao is the one, from the one comes yin and yang, from these two, creative energy, from energy, 10,000 things the forms of all creation. All life embodies yin and embraces yang, through their union, achieving harmony. From this quote, opposite forces are meant to be equal to one another, just as how the light and darkness in Kingdom Hearts will continue to live in coexistence with one another. 
Kingdom Hearts even brings the concept of Wuji, the absence of yin and yang, and an expression of the phrase limitless. There is another species of creatures called the nobodies, empty creatures that were not supposed to exist. Whereas normal people reside within the light, and the heartless live within the darkness, nobodies are born in the realms between, where eternal nothingness is dominant. So this concludes my analysis of the symbolism that goes on within Kingdom Hearts. The symbolisms that I have stated were Sora and a symbolism to the adventure type characters, Sora being a symbol of Jesus Christ, the Keyblades being representations of the keys to the kingdom, and finally, how light, darkness, and even nothingness symbolize the Tao's teachings of balance and harmony. In all honesty, if all the games were made into books or novels, they will have the potential to become literary giants because of the complexity of the storyline and how much depth is implemented in what the producers add into each new game. That is something that I am eager to see. This is Nathan and thank you all for watching my video.